Every so often, something drifts into our solar system from the endless dark between the stars. It's not from here, and once it's gone, it will never return. Recently, astronomers spotted one of these rare visitors, and it's unlike anything we've seen before. It's fast, it's big, and it's carrying secrets from another star system. We've just discovered the fastest interstellar comet ever recorded. It's racing towards us at 58 kilometers every second, fast enough to cross 580 football fields in one heartbeat. And unlike previous interstellar visitors, this one is huge, nearly 10 kilometers across, about the size of the asteroid believed to have wiped out the dinosaurs. But don't worry, this cosmic traveler isn't heading anywhere near Earth. Instead, it's offering us a once-in-a-lifetime chance to study a true alien world before it vanishes into the dark. In all of human history, only two other interstellar objects have ever been confirmed. First was Oumuamua in 2017, a long, tumbling, mysterious shape that sparked years of debate. Then, in 2019, came Comet Borisov, looking much more like the icy wanderers we're familiar with. Now, we have a third, 3i Atlas. These are pieces of distant star systems thrown into interstellar space long ago, and after drifting for millions, maybe billions, of years, they just happen to cross paths with our solar system. And when they're gone, that's it. No return trip. The night of July 1st, one of NASA's Atlas survey telescopes, scanning the skies from Chile, noticed something unusual. A TLAS, short for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, is designed to find dangerous asteroids before they get too close. Most surveys avoid looking directly at the galactic plane, the dense, bright disk of our Milky Way, because it overwhelms their detectors, but A, T-L-A-S can handle it. That's why, from the direction of the Sagittarius constellation, it caught a faint point of light moving in a straight line toward the heart of our solar system. At first, it was given the rather forgettable codename A11PL3Z. But as the data came in from other telescopes, including pre-discovery images going back to mid-June, something became clear. Its orbit wasn't bound to the sun at all, it was a hyperbolic trajectory, the unmistakable sign of an interstellar origin. At first, astronomers weren't sure if 3I Atlas was a rocky asteroid or an icy comet. The difference is important. A comet can tell us far more about its home system through the gases it releases. Soon after discovery, telescopes picked up a coma, a faint halo of dust and gas surrounding the nucleus. This coma forms when sunlight heats surface ice, turning it directly into vapor in a process called sublimation. It's a classic comet signature. That discovery gave it its full cometary designation, C-2025 and 1. From that moment, the race was on to observe it in as much detail as possible. 3I Atlas is on a steep hyperbolic arc around the sun it will make its closest approach, perihelion, on October 30th, passing just inside the orbit of Mars. Even then, it will be over 1.4 times farther from the Sun than Earth is. That's more than 600 times the distance from Earth to the Moon, perfectly safe for us. After rounding the Sun, it will shoot back into the void on a new path, never to return. Its trajectory is a little like Borisov's, but its speed is unmatched, a record for any interstellar comet. When first detected, 3I Atlas was faint, about magnitude 20. But in just weeks, it brightened to around magnitude 17.8 in Atlas's O-band filter. That puts it among the brightest interstellar visitors we've seen. To learn more, astronomers used the Las Cumbres Observatory network, scheduling a full hour of tracking. By monitoring its light over time, they measured its rotation period at roughly 29 hours. Interestingly, its brightness barely changed during a full rotation, 
suggesting a relatively uniform surface or a shape without extreme elongation, unlike Oumuamua. The comet's coma is small compared to many solar system comets, but it does have a tail, a short one at first, only about three arc seconds across in the sky. Later, amateur astronomers helped refine that measurement, showing the tail stretching 25,000 kilometers. That's roughly twice Earth's diameter, and it's made of dust blown away by the sun's radiation. While less active than Borisov, which produced huge amounts of dust even far from the sun, 3I Atlas is still far more active than Oumuamua. To understand why 3I Atlas is so exciting, it helps to compare it with our two previous interstellar guests. Oumuamua, in 2017, was completely unlike anything we'd seen before, long and slender, tumbling through space and showing no signs of a coma or tail. Its lack of activity remains a mystery to this day, with theories ranging from a dense, rocky fragment to an object shedding invisible gases without dust. Borisov, in 2019, was different. It behaved much more like a normal comet, with a bright coma and a long tail. It even had unusual amounts of carbon monoxide, suggesting it formed in a cold, carbon-rich region, possibly around a red dwarf star. 3I Atlas seems to sit somewhere between these two extremes. It has a coma and tail, but not nearly as dramatic as Borisov's. And it's far larger than Oumuamua, possibly by a factor of 10. By studying its activity and composition, astronomers hope to work out the kind of star system it came from. Initial color measurements show that 3I Atlas is slightly redder than the Sun, much like many outer solar system objects. That redness could come from organic-rich dust on its surface or from the coma itself, which tends to scatter more red light. In Borisov's case, the coma's brightness drowned out the nucleus, making it harder to measure the surface directly. We may see the same effect here, but as 3I Atlas moves closer to the sun, we'll get a clearer look at what's underneath. The differences between these three interstellar objects hint at diverse birthplaces. Oumuamua's dryness suggested it came from a warmer region where ices couldn't survive. Borisov's chemistry pointed to a colder, more distant zone, rich in volatile ices. If 3I Atlas shares Borisov's carbon monoxide levels, it might also have formed far from its parent star. But if it's less volatile rich, it could tell a completely different story. Either way, its journey to us would have begun with a gravitational kick, maybe from a giant planet, that flung it clear of its home system. Based on years of sky surveys, astronomers estimate that at any given moment, there might be only a few interstellar objects anywhere near our solar system. The fact that Atlas has been scanning for years and has only found one so far suggests these visitors are truly rare. Catching one this large and bright is an extraordinary stroke of luck. What makes 3I Atlas even more exciting is the collaboration it's inspiring. Professional observatories, university research teams, and amateur astronomers are all contributing images and measurements. The Astronomer's Telegram, an online bulletin for rapid scientific updates, has been buzzing with new data, from refined tail measurements to brightness reports. Each observation helps refine our understanding of the comet's path, rotation, and composition. For observers on Earth, the best viewing opportunities will come from September through October, before it slips behind the sun. After perihelion on October 30th, it will disappear for a few weeks before emerging again in early December. But by then, it will be heading out into deep space forever. If you don't have a telescope, you can still track its journey through NASA's JPL Horizons tool, which shows its position in real time. It's a reminder that even if we can't visit other star systems yet, sometimes they visit us. It's traveled countless light years through the darkness, past suns and planets we'll never see, just to pass for a brief moment through our skies. And when it's gone, 
It may be millions of years before another like it appears. In a universe this vast, even a fleeting encounter can be something truly unforgettable.